Yo, what is going on YouTube? Arky Gaming here, back with another video. And for this week's weekly video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve a Rubik's Cube in a very short amount of time. I don't know at the time of this video recording um, how a uh, short amount of time it will be, but you will see the amount of time in the uh, video title and thumbnail, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just jump right straight into this. I did a, another YouTube video on me learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube and saying that I learned it and how excited I was about it. And I was getting comments like, oh, I want to try to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube as well. So I figured if you were getting stuck, I wanted to help you all and just anyone who came across this video now uh, for solving a Rubik's Cube. So let's just jump straight on into this. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel or if you just haven't already. Uh, it shows that you appreciate my content and uh, it would show a lot of support for my channel. I just recently hit over 200 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. I did a video just talking all about that, which you, go, which you can go check out. <laughs> but yeah, let's just jump straight into this video. We're going to solve a Rook's Cube. So let's, let's um, jump right into this. So let's do it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, before we start even trying to solve the cube, just so you all know, you should all remember, try to remember this, that um, uh, you always want to remember the centerpieces. Uh, the white centerpiece always corresponds to the yellow centerpiece. The blue centerpiece corresponds with the green and the orange with the red. Um, so you want to remember that they all correspond like that. So, uh, because that will help you later on um, in other steps when you're trying to figure out to make sure the pieces all go in the right place. But yeah, there's going to be a, lots of steps in solving this Rubik's Cube. Uh, it's already solved right now, so I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. But um, yeah, there's a lot of steps to solve this, so I'll put the steps in the video description, uh, timestamps for them, so that you can click on them uh, if you want to fast forward. But I I assure you, you would not want to fast forward because then it would confuse you and you would mess up trying to solve the whole thing and start all over from the very beginning. So let's jump right into this. Alright, so now we have the exact same Rubik's Cube except it is um, completely scrambled. You can see it is completely scrambled. Uh, so yeah, let's just start um, solving it right now. Um, and so you all know, this uh, cube that I have is not a very good one. It is the standard cube from uh, Rubik's, uh, Rubik's.com, you can see there. Uh, it turns, like, decent, but it doesn't, like, it's kind of, you know, slow and stuff. You can get better cubes than this um, at other uh, places, I think. Um, I am going to be getting a better one than this, hopefully, sooner than later. Uh, during the holidays, which I hope you all have a great holidays, by the way, but I'm getting off track. Let's start learning how to solve this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, try to find uh, the white cross. So basically what the white cross means is we want all, we want this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece to all go and make a cross so they all come here. But we, we don't want to put the, these pieces here randomly because then it will mess up the whole cube. So basically what you want to do is I like having holding my cube up like this with the white side facing up, the white centerpiece facing up. So let's say here, like the way you want to do this is say you have a white piece here like this one, for example, and there's an orange piece here. So what you want to do is since it's on the top, we're going to turn it here, let me let me show that here. So this piece, I'm going to turn it all the way down. So now this piece is down here. So there's an orange uh, piece. It, it there's white and orange. So you want this to correspond with orange because um, with the orange centerpiece. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you have a uh, a white edge piece like this to get the white cross, you want to see the other color it's on, and you want to correspond it with the that other color centerpiece so like we just correspond the white orange with the orange centerpiece if that makes sense to you so now when you have it corresponding you'd want to move it up to the top here so it goes in the right spot but in this case here normally uh just to move it to the top though sometimes the white piece will be on the bottom so you can just do that and then it will be on the top but see it's not on the top here so let's put it back so if you get something like this here, where it's not on the bottom, but it's still in the right spot, you'd want to turn your cube uh, 
once counterclockwise, turn the top of your cube once counterclockwise, and then turn this side here with the, the white orange, turn it up like that. So now it's on top, but look, orange and green. So that doesn't correspond. So then you just undo that first turn you did here. So now the white piece is up here for part of the cross, and then it corresponds with the orange centerpiece still. So let me just do that again for you all in case it was confusing to you. Um, okay, so let me just get this back. Okay, so uh, let me just try to try to get it. Um, okay, there we go. I was trying to just get it back to uh, where it wasn't being on the bottom here. Okay, so here, let's do that again. So if it's not on the bottom like this, you turn this front of the, you turn the front part of the cube uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise. You turn the top of the cube 90 degrees counterclockwise. You move this, this, the side. You, you also want to make sure you turn this always to the right. So this edge piece is always on the right if you have to do this step. So now it's here. So then you want to move this right side up and then undo this turn. So then it matches here. So that's basically if it's not already on the bottom. But now we have first part of the cross, so now we just need these three more spaces. And these and this corresponds like that. Okay, so now let's just say we have this one. So now I'm gonna show a different example because this piece is an edge piece and it's white and red, so we wanna correspond it with the red center piece. So there we go. It's correspond with the red center piece, white and red. And this white is already on the bottom, so this is even better. So now you just turn uh, the front of your cube um, two times counterclockwise and then it will go to the top and it corresponds with the red centerpiece right here. So that's the easier um, the easier part you can get besides the other uh, possible thing you get that I just showed you. Okay so now let's find another edge piece. So this one right here. So there's four edge pieces by the way that we we're trying to get. Uh, so this one is white and green. So we're going to put it with the green centerpiece. So that's right here. But now this white piece is not on the bottom, so we're going to do the same thing as last time. We turn this 90 degrees clockwise, turn the top 90 degrees clockwise, oh, ca uh, counterclockwise for both times, excuse me. Turn this part up, and then undo that turn on the top. So now it corresponds with this. If you need to go back and watch any of these steps to, to see it again, it's totally okay, because when I was learning to do this with tutorials on YouTube, I was confused and had to watch it again at first, so it's totally fine if you have to go and watch it again. Okay, but now we're on the last edge piece, so we have white and blue, so we're going to correspond it with the blue center piece. So that's right here, but it's not on the bottom, so we do those same moves. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise, up, and undo. So now, this, this piece corresponds, this piece corresponds, this piece corresponds, and this piece corresponds and it's in the center here. So we made this, ignore this corner here, that was just random that it got up here, but these four pieces made the white cross. So you're done with the first step if you get this and make sure that all the edge pieces match with the other uh, corresponding uh, centerpiece color. So if you got this, congratulations, you're done with the first step of solving the cube. All right, so now into the next step for solving the cube, and that is to find, uh, to put all of the corner, the white corners, uh, basically it's just called to solve the white corners. So basically what that means is you wanna put this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner all up here so it finishes the white side of the cube. So basically what you wanna do here, um, I like to turn my cube uh, upside down so the white side is on the bottom. But, so you know, in, the, in this step, what's really important is you do the moves correctly or else you can mess up the, cro the white cross and then you'd have to do that all over again and you would mess up the step. Okay, so basically, here's what we're going to do. Uh, this is how, so, so basically like, say, we'll start with this corner. We want to get this corner down uh, to where um, it goes with the white cross, you know? So say this corner here. So now it's like kind of like the same thing with the corresponding colors. So this is white here, but then there's orange and blue. So what you want to do here, um, 
and when you're doing this is when you're doing it for all the corners by the way so what you want to do is you want to see the other two colors besides white that's on the cube on that on that um that corner piece so here it's orange and blue so i'd i'd move the the top part of the cube not moving the bottom so like look i moved the top but it, i'm not moving the bottom so i move the top and now this corner piece is in between the orange centerpiece and the blue centerpiece and you always want it to be in between and have it on the right side of you okay so now since it's in the right place you want to insert it to the place um the bottom place here so you're going to get heat from this from here to here so now in this case uh if you have a corner that um the white side is facing this way already what you can do is you can just turn the top of your cube 90 degrees clockwise so back here where we started move the right side of your cube up so this is part of the cross but don't worry the way i'm doing this i can put the cross back and then undo this first turn you did on the top so now this corner piece is in the right spot orange blue and now it's going to if i undo this this turn here so now we inserted that um corner into the right spot on the bottom here did you see how i did that um so that's only if the corner piece the white side of it is facing the correct way already which is like facing towards you so that's only if it's facing the correct way so i'll do another one let's say this one so this one is not facing the right way but you can see there's red and blue so we want to correspond it with red and blue so i'll just move that over here so blue here red here so it's in the right place but look it's not on the right side yet so what we want to do because we want to get this piece down here so what you want to do for here is these moves you want to turn this the right side up turn the top with your left hand uh to to towards your right uh put this back down put this side back down and move it back so now you can see uh the cross is not uh it's still here but this corner the the white side of it has moved to the correct position so now it's facing us so now if will you keep doing those four moves i showed you until um until the the white side if you turn it here is facing you until it's facing you that's what you do so once it's facing you you can test it to to move it here then you can just put it back to the left move the right side up move the top with your left hand towards your right so now it's in the right spot and put this back down the cross is still fine and we put the the corner piece in the right spot here so that's the way to do it if um the corner piece is um like not facing the right way already now this part uh this was just a random part of the mix i got um so a corner i didn't already have to, i already didn't have to do a corner because um this corner right here i think uh you can see it's already here and the other colors are red and green so it corresponds with red and green already so it's already in the right spot that's just if you get lucky with the solve there with the mix that someone gives you so i got lucky there and i didn't have to do that one already i already did it so here so basically you do those four moves um again like until you get all the corners solved like that basically but here's a really good example if you get something like this where the last corner piece is on the bottom it's in the right spot but it's on the bottom and we don't want it on the bottom yet because it's not facing the right way so what you want to do is you want to still hold your cube like this move it up turn the top with your right hand towards your left so now we move that out and put this back down so the cross is still fine and we moved and we took this corner out because it was not facing the right way so now you just do those same four moves until it's um facing the right way so here 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 and now you can see yes it is facing us so that's the right way so now move this back up back and down and now all the corners are in the right spot and they all correspond with the other um the other center the center uh pieces so all the corners are in the right spot this is so crucial because if you are just putting corners in at random places you are going to mess up the whole cube so if you are just putting corners in at random places stop what you're doing because you're doing it wrong doing it like that make sure you have them in the right spot where it corresponds to the colors or it'll mess up the whole cube but that's done with the second step all right so now that you're done with the first two steps including the white cross and the white corners now you're ready to move on to solving the second layer and what that means is 
we solved basically with solving um, the whole white side. That's solving the first layer technically because also look when you put it in the right spot, uh, all the 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 all of the other colors should be aligned. I think um, if not. That means you put the corners in the wrong spot or the cross is in the wrong spot so we just solved the first layer see how the f just this bottom layer that's like the first layer the everything's in the right spot so that's solving the first layer so now you're ready to solve this second layer this this whole layer here so basically what you want to do is still have the white side on the bottom you're going to have it like this for probably like almost the rest of the time solving the cube so now it gets a little more tricky um and it's actually even more tricky right now for the, the solve I got. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, show you what happened and what you would do if you get something like this. So basically what you're trying to do is all these pieces on the top. You're trying to find one that is um, has a color, uh, has two color, not an edge piece. Not, I mean not a corner piece, an edge piece, so one in the middle that has two colors and none of them are yellow and in my case all of them have yellow on there so I have to do this a different way but just try to find an edge piece that has uh, two colors that aren't yellow on there I mean you should make sure that it's not yellow or white because you should have finished the white side obviously but I'm just going to show you what happens if you can't find one at all at first so basically I found one here the way I know is because this is an edge piece it's not a corner piece and it has two colors that isn't white or yellow so what I want to do if it's in in the, the actual second layer when I didn't want it to be there yet so I want to turn the cube um, once um, counterclockwise sorry I lost my train of thought there and then I want to move this to where this color that's facing me corresponds so this is orange it corresponds with this orange centerpiece so then I'll move it here. Okay, so now it corresponds. And then undo this turn. Now it did undo this um, part of the white corners, but that's totally okay. Um, here's the thing though. If you get a thing where the uh, it, undo, it undoes one of the corners, it, auto, it always will. But if you get it where the white side is still facing here, you don't want to put it back in like, like that. Because then sometimes the edge piece will still go in here for me it didn't so i just did those regular moves um but sometimes it won't like it it will put that same edge piece back in here so what you want to do in that case instead is like do those four moves even though it's facing you and keep doing it until it faces you a second time and then put it in again if i get an example like that i'll show you but fortunately for me i was lucky and the edge piece stayed here so once you have an edge piece like this that has two colors that aren't yellow uh, on it so like this is it has orange and green so here's the thing with this we're trying to solve the second layer right so we want to make sure this edge piece corresponds uh, with the center piece of the the color that's facing us so the color that's facing us right now is orange so we want it to correspond with the orange center piece which is it's, it's here right now but don't forget um, excuse me don't forget the other color that's on here is green and here's green right here so what you want to do, this is more complicated, so watch this again if you don't understand it at first. What you want to do is turn this away from both of the colors. So like, I, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do that because you're turning it away from orange, so that's good, but it's on green, which is not good. So you want to turn it away from both of the colors. So make sure it's correspond like this with the color that's facing you. With So make sure the color that's facing you is corresponding with that same color uh, centerpiece. So it is correspond and green is here. So we want to move it away from both of those. So we'll move it to the right with our left hand like that. See? So now it's away from both of those. So now what we want to do once it's moved like that, turn this piece up. And remember the white side is on the bottom. And this will undo this temporarily, but it will automatically redo uh, the bottom layer. So here, let me just show that again. So you have this corresponds, you know. You turn it away from both colors on the top, move the left side up, okay? Move the top again with your left hand towards the right, okay? Move this back down so it temporarily undoes it, but what you do after this, so this is very important. So once you've done that, so the, this white corner piece is out and you move the edge piece, 
you want to put the edge piece uh, you want to put the one that white corner back here to where it's supposed to be and then since I was turning so here like since I was turning uh, the edge piece to the right once I put this back here I'm going to turn the front of this whole area this front of my cube to the right not to the left so here and so here's the thing let me explain so we have this corner piece back here right so I had been moving this edge piece all the way to the right yeah so if you're moving it to the right you want to do this move to the left or wait no if you're if you're moving yeah yeah if you're if you're moving the the edge piece to the right you want to also move the front to the right but if you're moving the edge piece to the left you want to also move it to the left I think is what you're supposed to do I will I'll probably get another example to double check so once you moved it here you want to make sure that the top here is empty without a white piece so now just turn this back so it corresponds and put it down and now this edge piece is in the second layer so we put it in the second layer in the right spot I know that was a lot but I, I it normally is a lot for me at, well, it was a lot for me at first but it'll take a little bit to get used to that but yeah that's basically what you're supposed to do for that um, now so let's you just have to do that until this whole second layer is completely uh, correct so now let's say this one we have green and red so there's red here so we want to turn it this way so now the green is facing us corresponds with the green centerpiece and there's red here so since red is here we want to do the same thing as last time turn it to the to the right with our left hand uh, turn this part up and then move it to the right put this back down and then move this back move this to the right uh, the front part to the right uh, put this corner piece back in put it down and now this is in the right spot so I know yeah I just said it is a lot but you will get used to it promise me I, uh, I, I promise you but yeah and I'd really appreciate you guys if you subscribed because this is taking a lot of energy out of me to explain this normally I just solve it like boom 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 and that's it but I'm going so in depth about this so it takes a lot of energy and um, attention to detail so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed uh, but anyways going back to this we have this centerpiece here for example there's blue and red it's already corresponding with blue and red is here so this case here watch very closely so before I was turning it to the left you know or turning it to the right so now in this case I'm going to turn it to the left so left with your right hand up on the right side with your right hand turn this to the left with your right hand move this back down with your right hand turn this back to the right with your left hand and now watch very closely here so now if we we're turning it to the left here this time now we want to turn this to the um, to the to the uh, right or to clockwise so wait this way so that way yeah turn it to the right so if we moved it to the to the left like that we're, we're turning it to the right I think I'm honestly getting confusing myself right now but you know turn this clockwise if you turned it that way put this piece back like that so the white side is still fine and let's just double check the whole second layer is done you can see everything in these first two layers everything is corresponding everything's corresponding so everything is good there so that's basically how you do the second layer and you do that until you have finished um, all the edge pieces on the top here um, I mean besides the ones that have yellow obviously so the rest of them have yellow because this is all just for the yellow side but you've already solved almost the whole cube so congratulations this is a really tricky step that I just explained it was a lot to explain so I hope you got it correct and if not um, you will get it you will get it eventually I didn't get it on the first try but yeah now let's move on to the next step all right so now you're coming on to the last few steps for solving a uh, Rubik's cube it's mainly just the top layer and getting it's basically kind of like um, the getting the white cross but on the top I mean it's a little bit different but you'll see so basically what you want to do here is once you've solved the first two layers here from the bottom and then the middle the once you solve the bottom layer and the middle layer that's actually what it's called you want to look at the top keep the white on the bottom so look at the yellow side here so you'll have three I think it's three different scenarios there are four different scenarios so basically you'll either have just the yellow centerpiece there by itself 
a L shape here like I have or the um, or a line just a straight line um, that you have or a whole cross so listen very carefully if you have a whole cross so piece here 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 and here then you are totally fine you can skip this step but if you have any of the other uh, three uh, scenarios then you want to watch closely so for me I got an L shape so what you want to do here is you want to put this in this scenario you want to put the L shape on the top left of you so I'm holding it like this so the L shapes on the top left you know and then what you want to do is you want to turn the front uh, clockwise so like that turn uh, the other side on the top uh, with your right hand up move this to the left with your right hand um, put this part back down put this back like that and then put it back down uh, I'll show a replay of that right now because it's hard for me to explain and hard for me to undo that but that's the that's the move that you want to do if you have an L shape uh, a dot or a line in my case I had an L shape but you want to do that move either way so I'll replay it for you right now Okay, so after the replay, it should make a little more sense to you. You can rewatch it if you want, if you still need to make it make more sense. But here's the thing. So if you had a dot, you should have an L shape now, I think. So then you want to do that same thing again, and then you should have a line like I do. If you had an L shape like I did, you should have a line like I do now. If you had a line like I did in the beginning, then you should have the whole cross done already, as far as I remember. Um, so yeah. Um, it, but... If um, you don't have a cross yet, but maybe you have like an L shape or this line, wait, just uh, do, if you have an L shape, do that again until you get this line. You should get it and the next time you do it, or the next uh, set of moves, you do that same set of moves until you get a line here. So if people have gotten the cross, you're already done with this step. But if you have a line like I do, watch very carefully now. So now you want to do the exact same steps, move this up. Move that uh, clockwise, move this up to the right, uh, to the left, down to the right, and then put that back down to undo. So this, all the second layer is still fine, and now I have a cross. So now I'm done with this step. So, again, if you just started with a dot, do those moves, and then you should have an L shape. Put it on the top left of you, and then do that move again, you should have a... Um, a line and I almost forgot to mention this but once you get the line make sure you're holding it horizontally like I was if you hold it vertically like this you're not it's not going to work so make sure you hold it horizontally okay um, just to just to clarify on that and then do that again and you should get the cross and then you're done with this step okay so now we're on to the next step which is making sure that all these colors on the edge pieces here 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 and here making sure they all line up with the second layers um if for some if you get lucky and once you're done with the cross and the yellow cross the colors are already lined up you can skip this step so if you can skip this if you can skip this step then go to um the next part which i probably have in the video description um but yeah so like me they aren't aligned yet so here's what you want to do you want to try to find at least two of the edge pieces that line up with the second layer so let me look no okay and i got lucky <laughs> and all four uh colors lined up for me okay <laughs> so that was lucky of me um i will do another solve here and i'm going to show you what you would need to do if you don't uh if you uh, only get like two, you should have at least two that either two colors that line up or all four like i did so i'll do another solve right now and show you uh, what would happen if you have um, all, uh, only, uh, only two solved and what you need to do. 
Alrighty everybody, so for me here, I did um, another uh, completely different solve, so don't get confused, this is a completely different solve from the other one. But this is just to show you guys what you need to do if you only have two uh, colors corresponding. So like green is corresponding here and orange is corresponding here, but blue and red aren't corresponding. Um, so if you have two that are corresponding here, uh, that are like side by side like that, you want to have one in the back so like orange here is in the back and then one on the side like this if you have one where um one is here and the other one is like opposite then do this from and then do this like with both of them on the side like this so, like this one and this say this one and this one are corresponding then just do it like from anywhere or i recommend doing it from like where the one corresponding side is here and the other one is here and then uh you'll do this step that i'm showing here um so if you have it where two colors are corresponding and they're next to each other, have one in the back, so I just put orange in the back, and green on the side. So then what you want to do is you want to turn the right side with your right hand up, move the top with your right hand to the left, put this back down with your right hand, move this again, the top again with your right hand to the left, put this back up with your right hand, and then just move this all the way back to um, to put the, 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 the corner back in place. Put this back down. And then you should be able to just turn the cube once. And then all of the sides should be uh, corresponding. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you get all the sides to be corresponding. But if you had two that were like, this one is corresponding and this one is corresponding, I recommend having, you, you know, the cube like this. Do those same moves. And then... Uh, the uh, two colors should be corresponding and one's like here and the other one's next to it and then do those moves again and then you should get all of them corresponding colors okay so hopefully that makes sense i showed you what you need to do if you only have two uh two sol two um colors solved like that but now you should have all four solved once you do those moves so now we're on the second to last step so the second to last step is basically just making uh, all the colors, putting them in the right, uh, all the corners, putting them in the right spot like we did with um, the white side, but it's uh, a little different this time. So what you want to do is find um, another, uh, uh, also, you could uh, have all the corners aligned to so make sure like uh, the same thing with the white side to see if the other piece, the other colors besides yellow align with the the center pieces, the other center pieces, if they do, you're done with this step. But if not, like me, then you want to do this. Find at least one that, um, find at least one corner that is, um, cor that is in the right spot. So, like, this corner is in the right spot. Um, it, the yellow side doesn't have to be up here. But, you know, blue, uh, uh, red is here, and it's here, blue, blue. So this one's in the right spot. And if you have none in the right spot for some reason, you, that doesn't mean you did anything wrong, but you'd still have to watch this. You do, you do these moves I'm going to show you. So once you find the one here, or if you have none, what you want to do is just, if you have none, just, you can do this from anywhere, but if you have one that is, that is solved, have it on the, the front right of you. And what you want to do, watch these moves very closely. You want to move this with your right hand to the left, right hand up, left hand right, left hand up, right hand left, right hand down, left hand right, right hand down, okay? So those moves that I showed you is very complicated at first, so rewatch it if you need to. I'll show a replay actually right now. Okay, so hopefully with that replay, it makes more sense. Watch it um, if you watch it over and over if, if you need to memorize those moves. Because if you don't memorize, if you don't get those moves right, you're going to mess up literally the whole cube. And that's like your worst nightmare, okay? Um, so, yeah, so do those moves. So this corner is still in the right spot, but these corners are still not in the right spot. So do those moves until the rest of the corners are in the right spot. So I'm just going to do it faster here. Okay, so here... Okay, so now all the corners are in the right spot. Red and blue, orange and blue, green and orange, 
and red and green. So now all the corners are in the right spot. Some are already uh, facing the right way, which is excellent. If all of them are facing the right way, like all of them are facing up, you've actually already solved the queue, which is insane good luck right there. But if um, more, normally you won't have them all on the, the right side at, at first, just so you all know that. Um, but yeah, once all the corners are in the right spot, then, um, then you're ready to move on to the final step of solving the cube, which you would not want to mess up. Um, but yeah, if you had just one, if you didn't have any of these corners solved, then you do those moves and then find the one corner that um, is solved. Because there's always going to be at least one corner that is solved after you do that if there are none solved. And then hold it in on the, the in front right and then do those moves until they're all solved. But finally, on to the last step. Alrighty, so the final step in solving the Rubik's Cube is pretty simple if you can just remember and um, do the these moves correctly. So what you want to do is once all the corners are in the right spot, flip over the cube so the white side is on the top. So like, look, you had the yellow side on the top for a while, so now do it where the white side is on the top, okay? And have it, um, if you, like, make sure that at least one of the corners that isn't, like, you know, the yellow side isn't here, is on, like, um, make sure it's on the bottom right, bottom right right here, okay? Don't actually turn the cube like this, or you'll literally mess things up. So just, like, say, like, I was looking at this one, but this one was already solved, so, oh, this one, I need it on the, the bottom right. I just turn it like that. You get what I mean there? Okay, so now, once you have one that's um, on the bottom right here, what you want to do to get this yellow side here is these four moves, and I'll show you. And the moves are, move the right side with your right hand up, move this top part with your right hand to the left, move the right side with your right hand down, and the top with your left hand to the right. Now, it, it, unsol it did unsolve the cube a little bit, but you want to do those four moves until... So I did those four moves again, and if you look at the bottom, that yellow piece is now in the right spot. And don't worry about these other pieces here. Don't go all crazy like, oh my god, I unsolved it. Um, but what you want to do very carefully, so make sure that is on the right spot now. So it is in the right spot now. Now, you're like, so, so for me, I have one corner, one more corner left, which is here. But you might have three more left, or you might have none left, you know? But if you have another corner, if you have another corner left, you're like, okay, let me go this one. So let me just turn this over so it's on the, the, the bottom right. If you do that and start to do the moves, the whole cube is ruined. So make sure you're still having it facing the right spot. So this was on the bottom right. So what you want to do here to make sure it's, it's right is turn the bottom so that next corner is on the bottom right, but you didn't move the rest of the cube. So this is what you want to do. You don't want to actually turn the cube like that or you'll mess everything up. So now once you've done that and this is facing here, do those four moves again until it's on the bottom and then just turn the bottom and that's it you've solved your very first rubik's cube congratulations i know that you'll probably have many many fails when trying to do this which i certainly had many fails um when i was trying to learn this but you will eventually get way more fluid at it over time uh i've definitely got way better at it over time i used to be like oh my god i solved it it's the craziest thing ever um but yeah, like, that's how you solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, I hope I made this a shorter video. If I didn't, I sincerely apologize. But I feel like having a longer video, if it is a longer video, would have been necessary so that you didn't get any steps wrong. And let me know in the comments section below if you were able to solve a Rubik's Cube using this tutorial guide. I hope you were able to. Because if so, that would make me feel extremely happy that you're able to do it. But yeah, that is how you solve a Rubik's Cube, ladies gentlemen but yeah boys that is and it in girls. learning how to solve a rubik's cube i hope you guys enjoyed this literally took so much work for me to um to film and edit because um i'm used to just solving it like it's nothing and not explaining it to anyone but explaining it to you all was super hard because i'm not used to explaining everything in depth and all of the the moves and everything um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you find i hope you found this helpful even if you don't even have a Rubik's Cube. I hope this um, help. I hope this convinces you to go buy one and try to try it out for yourself. Um, because I know that um, when I saw other people learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, I wanted one too. 
So yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And uh, give this drop a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this. And subscribe to my channel if you like the content in general. But yeah, that's going to be it for me for this week's weekly video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.